Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. The Foreign Minister of Russia, Sergei Lavrov, has called on Prime Minister Narendra Modi in New Delhi. Lavrov briefed the Prime Minister on the situation in Ukraine, including the ongoing peace negotiations. Prime Minister reiterated his call for an early cessation of violence and conveyed India's readiness to contribute in any way to the peace efforts. The Russian Foreign Minister also updated Modi on the progress of decisions taken during the India-Russia bilateral summit held in December last year. President Ramnath Govind reached Turkmenistan's capital, Ashgabat, yesterday as part of his two-nation tour to the country and the Netherlands. This is the first ever of an Indian president to visit Turkmenistan. This visit is significant as it is taking place when India marks 30 years of diplomatic relations with Turkmenistan. President Govind will hold meetings with his counterpart, which will be followed by bilateral delegation-level talks between the two countries and signing of several MOUs. In the second leg, the president will be on a four-day visit to the Netherlands for Monday. Dimabo, Newland, Jumugedi, Mamon, Gifre, Noklak, Pek, Perin and Zonobodo districts in Nagaland in the areas falling within the jurisdiction of Kuzama, Kohima North, Kohima South, Zabza and Gezrocha, police stations in Kohima district, Mangulemba, Mugukchungwan, Longto, Duli, Longchem and Anaki Sea police stations in Mugukchung district, Yanglok police station in Longling district, and the Pandari, Jambang, Ralan and Singro police stations in Woka district were declared as disturbed areas under Section 3 of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act 1958 for a period of six months, with effect from 1st of April 2022 unless withdrawn earlier. This was stated in notification issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs yesterday. The Nagaland In-Service Doctors Association, NIDA, has affirmed its decision of resorting to mass casual leave from April 18th. In a press release, NIDA said the proposed mass casual leave was being called to protest the failure of the state government to solve the superannuation issue. It said that the one-year deadline of written assurance from the state chief secretary ends on April 17th. NIDA mentioned that after the three-day mass casual leave, all its members will assemble at Kohima on April 21 for the next course of action. NIDA also said the state would require a minimum of 540 more doctors to fulfill the workforce requirement for the newly created districts and the upcoming medical colleges. For the five new districts, it said that a minimum of 80 doctors would be required for district hospitals and 30 more for the chief medical officer's establishment. Additionally, at least 248 doctors will be required for the two upcoming medical colleges, bringing the total to 540. The association also informed that currently 511 posts for doctors have been sanctioned in the state, out of which 329 are in position and 182 are vacant. Today is World Autism Awareness Day. The objective of the day is to create awareness about autism and also to encourage people to support those who are suffering from this disorder. This year, the theme is Inclusive Quality Education for All, which marks the global inequalities in education and society faced by people with autism. Autism or autism spectrum disorder refers to a broad range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, delayed speech and non-verbal communication. With just days left for Dr. Tiao Inter-District Football Trophy, Mukuchung District Football Association, MDFA, is all set to host the tournament from April 18 to 29. President MTFA, Mei Sanger Lemtor, informing media persons yesterday, said despite limited resources, they are trying their best to go ahead with the major renovation works at the Imkong Medan Sports Complex. He said that various governmental departments in the district are helping the association in whichever way they can. MDFA Go Convener Imli Kamzak said that all the participating teams from the 16 districts will be reaching Mugukchung on April 17th 
while the opening ceremony for the same will be held on April 18, followed by the start of matches from April 19. The champion will pocket 3 lakh rupees and the runner-up with 2 lakh rupees. Besides, there will be various other prizes, including individual prizes. That is all we have in this morning bulletin. Have a good day.